Hello and welcome to another episode of Kenny Tuesday. It's James here, your go-to solar expert, here to guide you step by step through all your solar options. I know there's a lot of misconception and misinformation about solar, and my goal is to educate homeowners just like you so you can make the best decision for your particular situation. Today we have a question from Mark, and his question is: Hi James, if I install solar, will it catch my house on fire? Hey Mark, thank you for submitting a question. This is a really fun question to answer because my colleague and I actually had a, a few kicks and some giggles about this question when I told them about this earlier because they actually heard this from a few of their friends and I actually seen this on the internet, I think posted a couple of times that someone actually caught their house on fire and they're blaming solar that, you know what, it's not good to install solar because it's gonna catch your house on fire. But what I've read, and to my knowledge, the ones that are actually burning a house down, they're actually the DIYers, right? The ones that decide one day that they're gonna install solar panels over the weekends, maybe with their buddy, because they did some research and they said, you know what, it's a lot cheaper for you to do it yourself, which it is, just as long as you know how to install them. So the DIYer decides to go to Amazon one day and decides to purchase a whole bunch of solar panels and screws them up there with their buddies, wires them all up, and next thing you know, they catch your house on fire. So if you don't know what you're doing as far as installing solar, more than likely and highly likely that you're gonna catch your house on fire. That's like no doubt, right? And even without solar, I mean, if you started fiddling around like with your electrical uh, wirings or whatnot around your house, and you don't know exactly what you're doing, you have a high possibility of burning your house down as well, right? I mean, that's completely putting solar out of the equation. So the first thing you need to make sure is the company is NABCEP certified. That's just an acronym for North American Board Certified Energy Practitioner. That's like the ground zero, right? The first thing that you need to check. The second thing you need to make check is check their credentials. Make sure they're actually a solar installer and they have an electrician um, license along with, with their uh, solar installer license. So for California residents, you can actually check CSLB, the California State License Board, and to verify that the solar company actually has the credentials. And the very last thing that you need to do is make sure the company is insured and also bonded. Right, so if they have those things in place, if you already put a check mark on every single one of those, more than likely the solar company will not burn your house down, right? So if you're missing a few of those check marks with certain companies, I highly suggest that you move on and find another company that you can put a check mark on every single one of those. So Mark, in conclusion, if you do hire somebody that doesn't have all these credentials, more than likely you will burn your house down, right? There's a high possibility. So to reduce that risk, make sure that they're NABCEP certified, uh, make sure that you're checking the credentials in the, if you're in California, the CSLB, uh, make sure they are insured and also bonded. If you put check marks in every single one of those, for the most part, you'll be safe. Hopefully, Mark, I answered your question. But before you take off, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get all of my updated videos that comes out. If you guys want to dive in deeper to learn all your solar options or you just have more questions, make sure you jump over to my blog at www.jamesthesolarenergyexpert.com. And while you're there, I need you guys to do two things. The first thing is make sure to sign up for a free, no obligation personalized solar coat so you know exactly how much money you can save if you install solar on your home. The second thing is make sure you grab your free ebook. It's a gift from me to you just for stopping by. And the ebook is gonna show you how to make basic to advanced upgrades to save you even more money on your energy bill. So thanks for watching and I'll see you at the blog.